Magic Subtitles are the newest addition and new standard to Kapwing's subtitling experience. With Magic Subtitles, it's now easier than ever to auto-transcribe your subtitles with automatic, extremely precise timing and transform styles using the transformer so that you can create styles such as word-by-word -word subtitling with ease. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how and hopefully answer any questions you guys have using this feature. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is go to kapwing.com, obviously. We're doing these magic subtitles on Kapwing. You're going to want to sign into your account, and then you're going to want to create a new project. Okay, so then you're just going to want to add in whatever footage that you may have. Okay, so now you can see that my video is uploading, and then you're just going to go to the subtitles tab on the left, and it'll open the new magic subtitles tab. So before we begin, I do want to say that if your heart is still with the old subtitling flow, it's still there for you and you are still able to use it on Kapwing. All you have to do is, when you click on subtitles, move over to the manual tab and then you can see that this is very similar to the one that you used to have. Here you can auto-generate or add subtitles individually and use the timing section. If you want it to be the full screen version, you can come over here and click the try the full screen editor and click that and then it's exactly back to how the old subtitler was. Okay, so now back to the Magic Subtitler. So once you click the Subtitles tab, you will automatically be placed in the Magic Subtitles tab. You can either choose to do any edits um, before you start subtitling or after. Personally, I like to do them first, so I'm just going to do Smart Cut real quick. Um, and do a few edits. Okay, so now it's all edited. Now I'm going to click Generate Subtitles. And then you can choose what language is being spoken up top. You can choose the language of the subtitles, so in case you want to add a different language to what's being spoken. And then you can also indicate the number of people speaking in the video here. Then I'll click Generate Subtitles. And then you, as you can see, all these subtitles are hanging out above the video, and then they're also all here in written form. So first I'm gonna show you guys how to edit the actual words punctuation and things like that in the subtitler. So for instance, I wish that this first letter was capitalized. You can either do it manually with your keyboard and add in uh, capitals or change the word and then you just have to press enter and it'll automatically change it. Alternatively, you can also click this button which will automatically capitalize it. Then you can also add periods and punctuations using these buttons here. If there's a word or several words that you don't want to show up, then you can go ahead and click into the word and then click delete word. And now you can see it was deleted from here. I can go ahead and restore that word though because obviously I did say it and it changes it automatically in the frame. You can also do this for several words at a time. I just dragged uh, my mouse along here and then I can delete the entire phrase and now it's gone. Of course, I don't actually want to do that, but just showing you so I can go ahead and restore the phrase. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to change the actual style of the subtitles on screen. So let's say that there are too many words on screen for your liking, or you don't like the font, or you don't like uh, the background color. I'm gonna show you all that right now. So this is an important point. While using the Magic Subtitler, the Transform tool is really, really important. The Transform tool is when you click on the actual subtitle and you're able to change around things uh, like so. So if there are too many words on screen for your liking, you don't actually have to click Return inside of here. You don't have to edit anything uh, in the actual format of the words. You can just change using the Transform tool by dragging it smaller. So if you want it really, truly word by word, you can make it a very small text box. And then when I press Play, it should be word by word. Newest edition and new standard to Kapwing's subtitle. So as you can see, it's all word by word now. So that's going to be a big help in terms of changing when the subtitles are on screen. You don't need to use the little sliding bars or the timing tool to put where your subtitles are. It's just going to do it automatically, and you can change the layout using the transform tool. So once again, I can add more words by just making the transform tool bigger, and then I'm back to having full sentences on screen. Now another option for formatting is that you are able to take a sentence and then pick a word in it um, and add a new subtitle line, and that will actually split the subtitle there again. Um, so as you can see, these subtitles just got uh, 
less words in this line. I can remove the line to make it back to what it originally was. So you can play around with this add new subtitle line to change the styling as well. But really the transform tool is your best friend here because this should be able to do the same thing anyway with more control and probably faster. Because as you can see, when I am dragging this, it is also changing uh, what is on the new line in the subtitler here. So you can see all of this is yellow. If I make it really small, then you can see that it is changing how many words per line there are. So you are able to do pretty much this exact same thing, adding and removing subtitle lines just with the transformer. Something important to note is that the magic subtitles um, are actually like soul bound and very directly linked uh, with the corresponding video. So therefore you actually cannot change the timing of the subtitles just by dragging um, because they are firmly linked. So if you do need to change the timing, for instance, maybe you want to add text or something that you did not actually say out loud just for more context, either you can go over to the text tab over here and add a separate layer of text um, explaining what you want, or you can leave the magic subtitler, go back to the manual, and then add a subtitle here um, with some context that you want. Secondly, if you don't want a subtitle to be said at all, you can just drag um, the words and then click delete phrase and then you will have no subtitle there. So that is another way that you can customize the subtitler and the timing there. What's really nice about how they are directly linked to the video though is that I can just go ahead and split this layer right here. And if I delete this layer, it will delete the corresponding subtitle with it. So I'll just delete this end of the video. And as you can see, the subtitle just automatically chops even the words that were in it. So before it said any questions you guys might have using this feature, but once I delete it, it's just any questions you guys because there's no more uh, words in it. However, if I drag out the clip, then it'll automatically put the subtitles back in because they are linked directly with the video. So now you can add subtitles first at the beginning of your editing process and then edit your video throughout or later at the end, and the subtitle should automatically update with the updates and edits of your video, which is super nice. So therefore, the Magic subtitles really aren't their own layers, they are linked uh, to the original video layer. Now, because Magic subtitles are linked to the video clips themselves, and not the project as a whole, you'll note that you'll have to add Magic subtitles to each individual clip. So for instance, let me add in a second clip here. So as you can see, now I have a second clip in the project. It doesn't automatically subtitle. And then I go to the subtitles tab over here, I will have to generate the second clip as well. So you do have to generate each of your clips individually. So back to the other elements of styling. So if you just click the subtitle little bubble on top of the video, then on the right side, it'll open up a bunch of different styles. You can add any of your fonts that you may have. You can add custom fonts if you have Coquin Pro. You can change the size, which will also change how many words fit on the screen. So keep in mind, uh, if you make them large, it's going to be fewer words on screen. If you make it small, it's going to be a lot of words on screen. You obviously, again, can change how many words are on screen just by making the transformer really small. So you can still have word by word animations, even really small if you just make the text box really small. So just remember that you can play with the actual font size and you can also play with the size of the transformer. You also can change, of course, the text color. Um, like so. You can also add text outlines. I'm not going to do this because um, I already have a background on it. I can change the background color by clicking the background color button, changing that, and then I can change the style of it so I can do the fill, I can do the wrap, which looks more like Instagram and TikTok, so I like that. You can change how rounded the corners are or change how much padding there is. Also changing the background density. So if you just want a little background color, you can do that. If you want it to be absolutely opaque, you can put it all the way up. And you can even change the line height to give it more space between words or a little space between words. And if you decide that you don't want your match subtitles at all, you can just click them and click delete. It will remove all of the subtitles. So if you don't want to remove every single subtitle, don't do that. And then just go in and remove the actual words um, up here on the left. That will help you individually remove sentences or words. So don't delete the entire magic subtitle section unless that's what you want to do. But yeah, when you're done, then you can just go ahead and click the export project button. 
and then export. And then it will process. And now you can see that these subtitles will play on top of your video. So let's give it a shot. Third to Kapwing's subtitling experience. With Magic Subtitles, it's now easier than ever to auto transcribe your subtitles. All right, you guys, that is it. I hope you find this video and Magic Subtitles as a whole extremely helpful. We will be iterating on the Magic Subtitles feature to make it even more powerful and user friendly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators and keep up with other tutorials like this one. And we'll see you guys in the next one.